Wang Shanfu, the CEO of BYD, he made some comments about the Chinese car industry. He, he said that electric cars would hit more than 50% in China within three months. Now, all the analysts disagreed. Now, they didn't attack him or anything, but they have said, you know, EVs won't hit 50% in China this year. It won't happen until probably 2028. The Chinese government said it would happen in 2025 or 2026. But, well, turns out the CEO of BYD is smarter than they are, at least when it comes to predicting EV sales. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. BYD, um, the CEO, he has, well, proven to be somewhat of an oracle. He said within the next three months, EVs would hit 50% penetration rate in China. And I've got to say, BYD are a big part of the reason why this just happened and did. EV sales have just hit 50.4% in China. That's growth of more than 30% compared to the same month last year. Now, I've got to uh, say this with a caveat. It's true that there was, I think, two weeks in March where EVs hit 48%. And now there's two weeks, the first two weeks of April, from the 1st of April to the 14th of April, where new energy vehicles, meaning plug-in hybrids, and fully electric cars hit 50.4% of all sales. And that's what the, B, the BYD CEO was referring to when he said that they would hit 50%. Of that 50%, about 30% are fully electric and about 20% are plug-in hybrids, meaning they can be used as fully electric cars. And generally in China, unlike Europe, people do use them in that way. Figures from the Chinese Passenger Car Association show that retail sales were actually 516,000. Uh, that is interestingly down year over year. So car sales in China have been going down pretty quick, down 11% overall, but EVs have grown by 32% year over year, meaning they've taken more market share than ever before, 50.4%. This is a phenomenal achievement. And it, it really does kind of, in a way, embarrass Europe and America where EV sales have been slowing down, have been declining in some, I mean, EV sales in the United States went up, were up by a couple of percent this year for the first quarter. Not much though, when you consider it's a very low base of only about 9% last year. EV sales in Europe have gone down a little bit this year because of the end of incentives. Incentives, as you can see, have not ended in China. The Chinese government's like, no, 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 that's not a good idea. We want clean air in our cities. We want to have our car manufacturers making more EVs. So they've continued to incentivize EV production, which I think is great. It's working. The Economist Intelligence Unit predicted that NEVs, new energy vehicles, would make up over half of sales in 2028. In 2028, they said it wouldn't happen until then, until 2028, which is what, four years from now. The Chinese Federation of Passenger Cars predicted this year they would hit 40%. Now, BYD CEO is going, no, 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 it's not going to happen. It's going to be 50%. However, it seems as though um, new energy vehicles are likely to hit around 12 to 13 million sales this year in China alone. It's probably likely we're going to see about seven or eight million fully electric car sales just in China. That's 10% of the entire car market. 10%. So, I mean, the world will clearly hit a much higher percentage than 10% this year um, in terms of pure electric car penetration worldwide because, well, 10% of the world's cars will be fully electric and they'll be sold in China alone. Uh, that doesn't include, you know, all the EVs that will be sold in Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, um, you know, Southeast Asia, uh, Europe, the United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, et cetera, et cetera. So we're probably going to see penetration this year between 15 to 20 percent of all vehicles sold worldwide will be fully electric now yeah clearly this is only two weeks i get that but it's very clear the trend is here we saw 48 percent last month uh, there was a few weeks where it was 40 percent uh, this month we're seeing 48 percent um is now being surpassed we're hitting 50.4 wholesale sales rates support the trend as well Penetration sale for wholesale was 50.2%. During this period, period, wholesale sales were 534,000 cars. And EVs contributed over 50% of that number. So what's happening? Well, what's happening is this. 
Internal combustion manufacturers, primarily legacy automakers, primarily Toyota, Honda, Nissan, um, you know, obviously Mitsubishi is bankrupt in China now. They've already gone. Um, you know, who else? We've got Jeeps left. They went bad. They, dec they declared bankruptcy in China as well last year. Uh, we've got uh, some other EV manufacturers who are not really selling their cars anymore because they've gone bankrupt this year. Uh, we've got thousands of dealerships who have declared bankruptcy over the past what, 12 to 18 months. But that's the bad. I mean, the bad is also that you've got um, General Motors, Ford, and other legacy automakers where their sales have cratered in China. But the positive is this. More and more people are buying EVs. And they're saying, you know what? We want good electric cars. This is driving innovation. It's driving you know, production of things like the Shenzhen battery from CATL, the lithium-ion phosphate battery that can charge at 550 kilowatt speeds. It's driving things like innovation with BYD then bringing out their Blade battery version 2, which charges faster and has 27% higher energy density and is cheaper than the Blade battery was a year ago. 27% higher energy density, cheaper, by I believe around 30% and charges faster. I mean, that's the future of electric cars and that's why EVs are growing. Last year, Sake General Motors, their sales fell by 15%. Honda sales fell 14%. Um, Sake Volkswagen fell 8%. Nissan fell around 25%. Um, Toyota Camry sales have collapsed by 60%. Volkswagen Levita sales are down 36%. The Nissan Silphi sales from their sales three years ago, they are down 70%. I mean, internal combustion vehicles are dying in China. And it's very, very satisfying to see it happen. The other big positive here, guys, is, yeah, I know... You know, you and I, there's not many people who watch, who are Chinese who watch this. But if you live in China and you don't have much choice, you have to work in the city, there's a lot of pollution in places like Beijing. But it's improving. It's getting better, like California, right? The air quality is improving. And the primary reason is electric cars. Now, you don't have much choice about the air you breathe, right? You walk outside, you just have to breathe what's there. But this is making a huge difference to people's everyday lives. Thanks for watching.